Like we've been waiting for this day, it is time for Patrick Cora's fearless winter weather forecast. Yes, mm -hmm. and Patrick, you gave us a little bit of a taste at six, mm -hmm. and you said we might actually get the colder weather a little later in the winter, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, it looks like December actually could be a little bit milder. We'll get into that in just a few minutes, so you'd like that. <laughs> My happy but uh, yes. January and February, especially after New Year's, it may take a change. Okay. And, um, you know, that's what we're thinking right now. But before we get into that, I wanted to go ahead and briefly show you guys the normals. And basically, it's telling us that January normally is our snowiest and coldest month. But I wanted to go ahead and set up the kind of situation on what we're thinking will happen winter 2015-16. Notice below normal across much of the southeast, even into the south central plains back into the four corners. Above normal, pretty interesting that normally we have our worst winters back into uh, the northern plains, but this is going to be a little bit different this year. Okay. Yeah, well above normal temperatures for Billings, Portland, yeah. some of the big ski areas, right? Yeah. Wow. So, you know, the northern Rockies may not be that good, but the southern Appalachians hmm. could be really nice. So okay. with that in mind, temperature outlook for us here, below normal. December, once again, we were talking about could be a bit milder, but January and February expected to be colder. Uh -huh. So that's something that we'll keep our eyes on. We have had a pretty mild year overall, so does that kind of factor into why December is going to be milder, you think? Yeah, sometimes when you have periods of weather, they could last 8 mm -hmm. to 10, 12 weeks. Mm -hmm. And our November has been really mild, like you it were has. talking about. Yes. And that probably will carry over into December. On the precipitation forecast, though, once again, December, January, and February, notice how wet it may be along wow. the southern Gulf Coast. This is that El Nino weather pattern that typically sets up, and we have a strong El Nino forecast for the next several months. Below normal for the northern plains, so they may actually have a fairly quiet winter above the Mason-Dixon line, especially into the northern plains. But us here, notice uh, precipitation could be a bit heavier from time to time. All right, so you've got two things here, well below average temperature-wise and then well above average precipitation-wise. Mm -hmm. That could mean snow, right? Yeah, and normally that will mean snow, so this is what we're expecting. When you have above normal precipitation in January and February, yes, some of that's going to be uh, frozen. So a very active southern jet or pattern like we were showing could set up for lengthy periods of unsettled weather. Okay, so unlike in years past where we, right. we have maybe one day a quick little hit mm -hmm. of snow and then things quiet down, we're going to see prolonged. Right? People yeah. are going to worry about the blizzard of 93, Patrick. We're not thinking of that, though. Well, that's probably what you call a once-in-a-lifetime oh, yeah. storm okay. and you have yes. 20 inches, but you could have several events of 2 to 5 inches okay. that we okay. may be having to deal with in January and February. So here's what we're looking for, a later winter Southern storm track, that's something we'll keep our eyes on. Cold daytime highs, and we may have a big season uh, when it comes to the ski resorts. Okay, that's so, one positive. Yeah. I like seeing that positive in there. Yeah, and yeah. finally, here's what we're expecting. Four snows of one inch or more in the valleys, most likely north and east. That normally happens two times in the mountains, so up to eight inches, or excuse me, eight events maybe into the mountains. And last but not least, two to three ice events. Now, oh. This is something I'm <laughs> concerned about. We could have yeah. a major ice storm somewhere in the southeast. We haven't had one around here, but right. unfortunately yeah. we're due. It's really been a long time since we've had a last major ice event. So you got to keep thinking each year we don't have one gets us that much closer to the next time we do have yeah, one. Yeah, right? look out Mountain 1960. That's yeah. the date and hopefully we won't have anything like that. But in recap, unsettled, yeah. cool, and potentially snowy, especially January, February. So a later winter, then, is what you're That's saying. That's what we're expecting. A later winter, but then lots of ample opportunities to make snowmen, right? Mm -hmm. So exactly. we'll enjoy that. <laughs>